वेलकम लर्नर आई एम डॉक्टर आशुतोष कुमार भट्ट एसोसिएट प्रोफेसर स्कूल ऑफ कंप्यूटर साइंस एंड आईटी उत्तराखंड ओपन यूनिवर्सिटी हल्द्वानी आई एम योर ट्यूटर फॉर द कोर्स वेब टेक्नोलॉजी सो टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट मार्कअप लैंग्वेज वेब स्टैंडर्ड एंड हिस्ट्री ऑफ मार्कअप लैंग्वेज एस टी एम एल एक्स एम एल एंड एस टी एम एल एक्स एस टी एम एल सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल डिफाइन द लर्निंग ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ दिस लेक्चर द लर्निंग ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ द लेक्चर इज टू अंडरस्टैंड द हाइपर टैक्स मार्कअप लैंग्वेज टू अंडरस्टैंड हिस्ट्री ऑफ वेब स्टैंडर्ड्स नीड ऑफ वेब स्टैंडर्ड्स वर्ल्ड वाइड वेब कंसोटियम डब्ल्यू थ्री सी एंड हिस्ट्री ऑफ एस टी एम एल सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल मार्कअप लैंग्वेज इज अ मार्कअप लैंग्वेज इज ए कंप्यूटर लैंग्वेज दैट इज यूज टू अप्लाई ले आउट एंड फॉर्मेटिंग कन्वेंसन टू द टैक्स डॉक्यूमेंट सो यू कैन सी द क्लाइंट सर्वर टेक्नोलॉजी दिस इज द डायग्राम ऑफ क्लाइंट सर्वर टेक्नोलॉजी वी ऑल आर कनेक्टेड विद आवर मोबाइल फोन आवर कंप्यूटर आवर लैपटॉप विद द सर्वर विद द वर्ल्ड वाइड वेब एंड वी सर्व एंड वी सर्व द इंफॉर्मेशन फ्रॉम द डब्ल्यू 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 सर्वर सो मार्कअप लैंग्वेजेज एंड वेब डिजाइन लैंग्वेजेज फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वेन वी कैटेगराइज द डिफरेंट डिफरेंट टूल्स एंड लैंग्वेजेज इन क्लाइंट साइट एज वेल एज इन सर्वर साइट सो मार्कअप लैंग्वेज एक्स एम एल एंड एस टी एम एल आर यूज फॉर द वेब डिजाइन स्टाइल सीट लैंग्वेज दैट इज सी एस एस कैस्केडिंग स्टाइल सीट एंड एक्सटेंसिव स्टाइल सीट लैंग्वेज कॉल एक्स एस एल एंड क्लाइट साइट टैंक स्क्रिप्टिंग लैंग्वेजेज आर जावा स्क्रिप्ट सी शार्प स्क्रिप्ट एंड वी वी स्क्रिप्ट सो दीज स्क्रिप्टिंग लैंग्वेजेज कैन बी यूज फॉर क्लाइंट साइट डेवलपमेंट और क्लाइंट साइट स्क्रिप्टिंग वाई द सर्वर साइट स्क्रिप्टिंग लैंग्वेजेज आर जे एस पी पी एच पी ए एस पी एंड मीन वाइल वेन वी हैव टू यूज मल्टी मीडिया टेक्नोलॉजी विद आवर वेब विद आवर वेब डिजाइन और वेब टूल सो वी रिक्वायर फ्लैश एज वेल एट सिल्वर लाइट एंड अदर मैनी मोर मल्टी मीडिया टेक्नोलॉजी आर पॉपुलर दिस टाइम सो यू कैन सी क्लाइंट साइट presentation as well as server side presentation so client side presentation on browser we require pure html java applet and as well as we require many more applications java applications also for the desktop designing desktop application designing and other languages j2e client also and on other side the web languages server side scripting or server side tools are jsp asp java servlet and it is j2e platform so it is also called web tier so now see uh, the hypertext markup language so uh, specially created to make world wide web pages so hypertext markup languages is main focus of this lecture so uh, first of all starting with the markup languages with html we have to understand the web standards so uh, we will go historical background of web standard so history of this web standard the web came into existence when us military created a network for communication in 1960 which was known as arpanet so arpanet first of uh, first of this uh, communication era starting of this communication era we have started this uh, arpanet so this arpanet started in 1960 to connect four computer and to share the researches of the university with the uh, army so uh, this is the region of uh, this arpanet and arpanet uses a method for transmitting information and it was the first network to use tcp ip model so this is the first network which is used for the which is using the tcp ip model and it is for transmitting the information 
Now, see the other history of uh, this web standard. After two decades, means in 1980, after in 1960, this ARPANET ha has been started and with the connection of the uh, connecting uh, four computers. And in 1980s, in 1980s, two decade means in 1980s, the concept of transmission of data among different nodes through linking was given by the Tim Bernali. So Tim Bernali is the one of the big name. So uh, he has started the communication or transmission between different nodes. In year 1990, after 1980, in 1990, uh, he made all the necessary arrangement to implement the first model of the web. And uh, it means we can say the first model of web is started in 19 during or around 1990. It consists of the HTTP protocol, HTML for creating web pages and web browser to view web pages. And lastly, the HTTP server, this is how the web started. So uh, HTTP server came into existence. HTTP HTML came into existence and HTTP protocol also came in, uh, in the existence. So after 90s, all this uh, development happens and uh, then this web standard has been started. And Sir Tim Bernalli, British computer scientist, he was British computer scientist and generally created, credited as inventor of World Wide Web. So we all say Tim Bernalli as a uh, inventor of World Wide Web as well as HTML. So again see this, these web standards. Web standards are defined as technology that are used in building website. So you can say for building any website, uh, we require some standard and these standards are called web standards. It provides detailed information how web technology should work. So uh, you can see uh, these facts also, you can uh, notice these facts also. Now people use different type of devices like mobile phone, tablet, laptop, desktop and many more smart devices we are using uh, day by day. In all electronic devices we have a small smart screen also. So uh, there are even more devices like interfaces provided in the vehicle and navigation and a smart speaker using the speech. So in this vehicle we have smart devices, in medical field we have many smart devices uh, which is linked with the uh, equipment and more moreover screen sizes are also different and different operating systems are there in all these smart devices. So uh, hence it become a need to make a certain standard while developing the website. So those website work smoothly on all devices. So as I am talking about that different devices are having the different screen size. You can see here different operating system is also there and different screens are also there. So uh, see this fact again uh, the developing website so that those websites work smoothly on all devices, all devices, all devices with different screen as well as different operating system with different configuration also. So web standard, so the web standard are designed such a way that they can be, the website can be open in all different, different devices. So web stand, standard from a foundation of rule and regulation for the developers for developing website. So this, this is web, finally web standard. Web standard form a foundation of rules. Basically web standards are the rules, foundation of rules and regulations for developer, for developer, for developing the website. So uh, in simple word, uh, we can say for developing any website, we need certain rules and these certain rules are called web standards. So this is web standard finally. Now, so therefore in 1994, World Wide Web Consortium means W3C was founded by Tim Bernalli and collaborated with many different IT organizations to work on making the standard governing rules 
for web development so world wide consortium means w3c uh, founded by it is founded by tim bernalli so he has defined certain rules for website development and these rules are called web uh, standards so uh, these are the open standards also tim bernalli and representative of the w3c world wide web consortium had given a most precious feature of the web standard and which says that web will always free for use so this these are the these are the rules so first rule first rule first protocol of this uh, web standard uh, this is most precious feature of these web standard so according this standard this rule web will always free for use now another standards are it will not limit itself by patent right so uh, you you understand the patent uh, so patent and copyright also uh, we can say ipr sometime so it will not limit itself by patent right or licensing because of this feature everyone in independent to write code for building website without paying anything on anyone anything to anyone so this time we can develop our own website and any organization can develop his or her own website and this website can be uploaded so uh, everyone is independent as well as he uh, can write code and he can build website without paying any anything to anyone so we have to we have to purchase space on web server we we will not purchase the Uh, we will not pay for the website for uploading the website but we have to pay for the space so uh, and the next point because of its openness there is no chance of censorship uh, means a single organization cannot control it so this is a, also a very important fact that uh, no single organization can control it it, it is it is cooperative and everyone is uh, contributing it and everyone is uploading his or her website and uh, everyone can search as well as share uh, the website of others so there is no censorship here so there is no patent uh, violation uh, also be there and uh, there is no patent right of any website copyright is still uh, we can impose uh, on website so uh, these are the general goals of web 3 uh, c means world wide web consortium Uh, web for everyone web web on everything and knowledge base also trust and confidence uh, con <coughs> confidence also there so uh, the goal of w3c under under the hood uh, prevent the web from the break breaking apart and grant interoperability and make sure that the web is creative space and maintain extensibility as well as lead the web to its full potential so uh, the world wide consortium again uh, a number of standard have been defined by uh, w3c uh, which include different languages like uh, the languages like uh, html css javascript so these uh, uh, the languages are defined by these uh, this uh, web standard and um, for making the website so according to web standard we have html we have ecma script we have xml css so these are the different different tools languages which is used for developing the website now the feature of w3c world wide uh, web consortium web for all it is the main goal of the w3c to make web service accessible to all people and no matter what their software or hardware configuration so it is accessible to all everybody can access them and any screen size of device and uh, any any device whose screen size is different or whose operating system is different so he can easily access the uh, website and also no matter where they live so any any place in any place we can connect with the websites uh, this feature help people worldwide to connect the and communicate with each other so this is uh, this is website and web on everything this feature ensure that each and every device can easily access the web 
because people are using the large variety of devices and interfaces like mobile tablet smartphone so we have different different devices so uh, web on everything on every every device we can connect with the we can link with the web and we can open any website and this uh, web uh, web of trust means it, it should be secure the web should be secure and must win the trust of its user so uh, the guidelines are made to use the various security measures so it is it is must that we have to impose we have to apply security measure on uh, our website on our web like ssl certificates website https protocol which is more secure than http and many other uh, measure which reduce the risk of attack on these website so it should be encrypted encrypted connection should be there and insecure connection is not uh, preferred uh, in that case so when we have started this html and uh, web web standard has been started you can see the journey of this html uh, the first markup language that that was sgml and sgml finally converted into html in 1991 and then there are different version uh, has been uh, came like html plus in 1993 html 2.0 in 1995 in 97 html 3.2 html 4.01 in 1919 and 2012 onward we have this html5 so this is more advanced than html and we have many more uh, options many more facilities are there in html5 so finally this html5 came in 2014 uh, 28 october 2014 html5 5 was released and this is the final and complete fifth version of html standard of world wide web consortium and html now some fact about this html html is a web page layout language and hyperlink specification language also and it can create static by html only static website as well as dynamic we can uh, develop but we have to take the help of scripting language also so html is not a word processing tool and it's not a programming language basically c java and other python are the other programming language but it is not that programming language so uh, apart from these programming language it is different and hypertext programming we call it hypertext programming language hypertext simply means hyper text within text it text has link within it and it is hypertext whenever we click on any text so it brings you to the new web page so it, that's why it is called hyper tag markup language hyperlinking is there so we have this uh, anchor tag a h r e f and then we will have to uh, write here web page name so we have mentioned here http colon uh, double slash u www.uoe.ac.in when we click on open university then it will open uh, uoe.ac.in this web page this website so this is hypertext and web page basically these web page are the document which can be displayed in the web browser now what is web browser web browser are different type of browser like uh, google chrome firefox opera mini opera M microsoft internet explorer edge uh, previously it was uh, uh, internet explorer now it is edge apple safari so many many other web browsers are there so uh, accordingly we use these web browsers and uh, you can see here this list of web browser and uh, this is the uh, view of any website so this is basically static as well as dynamic website also so this is static page and static website uh, website contained web pages with fixed content and each page is coded in html and display the same information in to every visitor so static Uh, website always display the same information while the dynamic website like the website of web page of web page of uh, bombay Ex stock exchange it will display the live uh, live data live uh, rates of the stocks also and uh, uh, dynamic website 
contain the web pages that are generated in real time so real time it will time to time it is updated so this is uh, this is like this uh, student one view of our university so uh, accordingly the situation accordingly the student suppose student pass any examination in uh, any semester so uh, the information will be updated so he will see the updated information suppose student gives any back paper exam so accordingly the updated information updated mark sheet will be displayed to to him or her so this is dynamic content dynamic website so uh, finally uh, uh, at the end of this lecture uh, the learning outcome of this lecture how to create program in hypertext markup language and to understand history of uh, web standard and html need of web standards worldwide web consortium and uh, many other things which is related to uh, this w3c consortium uh, thank you learner thank you very much